Hello? Do you want to be in the vlog? Look at him. What the hell? Oh, oh. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the vlog channel. Today, I have a very exciting video for y'all. But that is true of all the videos. Right? Right. That's what I thought. Would it be one of my vlogs if future Texie didn't have to interject at some point to explain the actions of past Texie? No. Would it be a vlog of mine if my hair was in a totally different color than it was in the last video? Also no. Enough funny business. I'm here to give a little context as to why this vlog is so short and out of order and kind of sporadic because that's not typically how I do things around here. So if you've seen my last video, the Pirate's Cove vlog, which if you haven't, get on it. And if you have, in that video, I explained that vlog, this vlog, and the next vlog were all filmed back in literally August. So just move right on past that. That's neither here nor there. I blew the fifth. I said in the last video, yeah, 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 I'll suck less. So the reason we were in New Orleans in the first place is because we were on our way back from Florida on a road trip and we were really only in town for a day, barely. My very first urbex venture on this channel was my Six Flags New Orleans exploration back in March. Once again, if you haven't seen that video, I'm peer pressuring you. I'm just gonna plug all my videos in this video. Go ahead and watch the Plaza Tower video while you're at it. I was not initially planning on going back to Six Flags New Orleans. However, the primary objective objective in going back was actually motivated by this comment. I'm putting it on the screen right now. This series of comments on that video. There was this warehouse full of literally thousands of Bright Fest souvenir cups. This comment so wisely suggested that I should have gotten one, which like, yeah, I absolutely needed one of those cups. We ended up leaving Florida a lot later than expected. Our plan was definitely to get into town at a reasonable hour, but that did not end up happening. Hey. What's up? Oh. Anyways, <laughs> he's a freak. You don't have to tell me, I know. Is this a good frame? He's very flopped right now. He had a long day of being a freak, clearly. Moving on. You're aware of our primary objective for getting into Six Flags. We did have a couple of secondary objectives. What were the secondary objectives, might you ask? Excellent question. Basically, when I rewatched my first Six Flags video, I realized there were a couple of spots that I didn't go into because I don't know, I'm stupid and I hate you. <laughs> no, I am stupid, but I don't hate you. I don't know, I just hadn't gone into a couple of places that I definitely intended to go into. Generally, this wasn't like a huge area or something I missed. It was just like one room that I forgot to go into, but it's been killing me ever since. Okay, hopefully that's the last weird frame shift. I don't know, it just stopped recording randomly, picking up where we left off. Whenever I said generally, if you did watch my last Six Flags video, you would know that unfortunately I did not get to explore Main Street nearly as extensively as I wanted to due to those pesky security guards ruining my fun. So I was really hoping security would not be parked right by the front gates like they usually are. What do you know? They're still there <laughs> in the middle of the night. So obviously as we were walking around, I did want to get some more good vlog footage. I don't know when they decide to loop around the park. Having flashlights on was not probably the best idea for that. I tried filming a little bit despite my phone dying, which was a common issue in this vlog, you will see. The flash that I have just doesn't really cut it. There's one clip outside the arcade game Games and Megazeth that I'm going to put a clip of this same section in the daytime so you can see what that area looks like. You really can't see anything. So I suppose maybe third time's a charm. Maybe I could go back again and try and get Maid Street. Maybe it's a fool's errand. Either way, the primary objective was accomplished. We got the cups here, everybody. I feel like a beauty guru. <laughs> Wow, look how beautiful. I'm just gonna take these to my local Six Flags and demand they give me drinks. We went through and checked a bunch of them because obviously a bunch of them were broken and I could have sworn this one wasn't broken, but it is. So I don't know if I just missed that or if it broke later, I don't know. My blood, sweat and tears went into this, boys. So without further ado, here's us at Six Flags in the middle of the night. We have collected the goods. These are the goods. These are the rest of the goods. If anybody would like to come and retrieve them, um, I think y'all know where to find it. <laughs> Hat? Hat? Hat. Hat. It's playtime. Is that like a Six Flags brand hat? Yeah, it looks like it. That's adorable. Oh, I never went into this room. Caution. So. 
help me. Are they gonna help whoever? <gasps> Maybe. Guys, uh, guys, <laughs> not cool. Major party foul. Don't mind Corey, guys. He's just being a slut, slut. Mm -mm. He needs to take this back. Surprise, it's me again. Long time no see, right? I know, I know, there was barely any footage there. Hopefully there was a little bit of an explanation why. By the time we got out of the park, it was around 4.30 in the morning. We didn't get checked into the hostel until about five. So technically it was August 10th in the morning and we were leaving August 11th, the next day. So our first exploration of the day, if you don't count six flags, I guess, is going to be the next vlog. So stay tuned for that. After we explored that location, obviously we were gross and tired and wanted to go take a nap. We decided, no, we're gonna power through and try and hit another spot tonight. There was one location that we knew would be very difficult to get in and obviously would only be more increasingly difficult due to its current circumstances. Ding, 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 it's Charity. It's Charity Hospital, if you didn't guess that already. So I hadn't been back to New Orleans since March. And at that point, Charity had looked as it's always looked. But whenever we drove around, I noticed there was a bunch of scaffolding on the front which was new to me. So I looked it up, there's construction going on. They are doing something with it. So we knew if we were going to get in, we needed to do it now. And due to how hectic it was trying to get in, I did not film anything, but I will explain how we got in. So Charity is right in the middle of the medical center. It is surrounded by active functioning hospitals and a lot of security. Both the front and the back had security cars. On the right, there's no street or anything. It just goes straight into the next building, which is in use. Pretty much our only end was on the left. All the windows are boarded up obviously. There was one board on one window that looked like it could be a little bit loose. It doesn't look like it's that high up in this picture because this building is so large. The bottom of the window was probably like, I don't know. I mean, it was it was a few feet above my head. I'm like 5'7". So Corey had to boost me up. And then obviously once I was up there, time was of the essence because now I'm above the fence line. So if somebody catches me up there, I'm kind of screwed. The two by four on the bottom was a little bit loose. So I just started kicking it and I did get very stuck and I did start panicking <laughs> a little bit. Honestly, if either of us had been like, an inch bigger, we would not have been able to make it in. I had tons of bruises all over my legs from where I was squeezed against the window. The vlog picks up right whenever we get in. And since I'd already filmed an entire vlog that day, my phone, say it with me now, was dying. <laughs> now, before I get into the vlog clips of Charity, this is just going to be a very brief history. This is also pretty much a condensed version of Bright Sun Films abandoned video about Charity. So I'm gonna link that below if you want the full thing. But here is the TLDR. As always, my notes are right here. So that's where I'm looking. Charity was first opened in 1736. Not this specific building, but Charity Hospital itself. It's been expanded and reopened many, many times to make room for more patients over the years. The current building that we did explore was opened in 1939. It was built for $12 million at the time, which now would be over $230 million. And it was also the second biggest hospital in the US with about 2,680 beds. By 2004, Charity was serving over 100,000 people a year. It was the oldest operating hospital in the US. Now fast forward to August 28, 2005, Katrina hits New Orleans. Water flooded Charity's basement and it eventually got past the first floor. Unfortunately, the backup generators were in the basement, so they lost power pretty quickly. In the aftermath of the storm, patients were transported out one by one until airlifts finally started five days later. Apparently there's a bit of controversy as to whether or not the building was actually salvageable or not. Allegedly it was closed whenever it was still very much salvageable.
So in 2010, a deal was struck. FEMA would pay over 400 million for a new facility, the New Orleans Medical Center, which opened in 2015. In 2017, the building was gutted. As of recent news, the reason why there is the scaffolding in the front, Tulane signed the lease as the anchor tenant. Apparently the plan is to turn it into apartments, retail space, and a medical research center. It is a $300 million redevelopment. As of now, they've signed the lease for about 350,000 square feet of the building's total a million square feet. The projected opening of the redevelopment is in 2025. I suppose we'll see what will happen with that, but that's very exciting. You never see stuff get unabandoned. So anyways, roll the tapes. <laughs> What's very nice about Charity being under renovation is they have these very convenient lights and fans for us. Oh, I need to get my light. It's almost dead though, guys. Excuse me, um, I'd like to make an appointment. <laughs> yeah, we gotta find some stairs. <laughs> All right, stairs have been located. Let's go, boys. <laughs> Get in our cardio. Where are you? Oh my goodness. We're already up so much of it. I didn't feel like we went up this high. I mean, there is still quite a bit more. <laughs> We're losing light very quickly. There they are. <laughs> oh, well, you can see the Superdome. It seems we've made it to the top and the sun is going down and what a beautiful view and I am so sweaty <laughs> we were really up here <laughs> There's this cop that's sitting right on this parking lot, a garage, parking garage, I don't know. Look at this beautiful sunset. So, uh, who's first to jump? If your friends jump off of Charity Hospital, would you? <laughs> All right, everybody, I have very unfortunate news. The little light has officially died. I guess that's our cue to head back down. I also need to pee and I don't think this place has public restrooms. <laughs> so you can't see anything. Ah, damn it. Ooh, do we have any bulletins? Keep. They're keeping the bulletins, <laughs> good to know. Hello friends. I realized I never got a shot really of the outside of charity. We were kind of more focused on getting in and out, <laughs> but Remember when we were up there? So do I. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, yeah, it's me again, whatever. Once again, my apologies for this weird vlog. There were a lot of extenuating circumstances, which I feel like I definitely over explained, but stay tuned for the next New Orleans vlog, which is coming very soon. And of course, don't forget to smash that like button and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. <laughs> One more obligatory self promo. Everybody smash the follow button on my Urbex Instagram. It's where I post all the disposable photos that I take on these little excursions. I'm putting them on the screen right now, or I look really stupid. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tolerating me. Bye. Love you. <laughs>